Viewer discretion is advised. This is a legitimate encounter with an unknown predator that me and my friend have yet to uncover. After our sighting you are about to witness, we discuss our observations and seek to understand what we saw. If you are squeamish on the subject of the strange, dark, and mysterious, please turn away. Thank you. Slush here. That's a huge race. Yeah, that must have been slush. Slush you whenever they cut the holes. What? Get some up there. Back up. See that? You see that? You don't see that? Come to me. Look exactly how high I'm looking. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. Dude. I'm gonna fucking not keep up with it. Yeah. Plus, I think Owl's eyes shine. Fucking. Something, but that, I always like think orange. that was more orange red. That was orange. that was orange, dude. That I'm so glad you saw it too. Yeah. And as soon as you looked at it, it, it turned away. away. It yeah. turned away. <laughs> that okay? I was gonna go snowmobiling. No, I'm not. Yeah, We're gonna tell I them. I don't know what that sound is either. That, that bothers me. That really bothers me too. That was just above ground level. Like it wasn't a deer. It, it looks like it was standing up, like kind of like a human. Yeah. Because it was like it was like the tree. Do not. Like so if you guys are still struggling to hear it, I'm gonna play it back right here, and uh, just keep playing this segment back if you can't hear it. But it's right there. It's like a screech right when he moves his foot. Alrighty. So this is the discussion segment of the video. Leave a comment on what you think we encountered. Hope you guys all enjoy. Been with me. I should have had my fucking light. Wow, that was. I don't like that. That dude, that sent a chill down my back when I saw the eyes and I'm like, calm, please see this. When you started running, I'm like, Port, don't fucking run. Hey, you're gonna trigger it's like fight or it's a uh, chase reflex. And yeah. Predator. B. I don't want to sprint. I don't hear understand. It coming. I watch Missing Four One One all me the too. time, and I'm fucking scared. Me too. Like. I could I could spend like two hours going into some conspiracy theories. Dude, but... I'm a conspiracy nut, so I know about Wisconsin yeah. Wendigo Skinwalkers. Yeah, yeah. I know all of that shit. Skinwalkers, they, you could have some. Like I don't know if I believe it. Wendigos, I think. Wendigos, I think. Real. They're a native legend. Every religion has some theory in the flood, right? Or yeah. apocalypse, and we actually have quite a lot of evidence for past civilizations that were a bit more advanced than we think. So. Let's just say, in that case, the world is a lot more populated, right? What is the one fucking thing where people go to be safe if the world is ending? Islands. No, no, no. Or underground. Caves. Okay, yeah, caves. There is a certain family, fuck, uh, Wendigoon talked about this recently. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wendigoon, yeah, yeah, I know him too. Or, or it might have been the lower lodge, but I think they talked about it together. Anyway, um, highly inbred. And some of the things that happen with that inbred family... Um, lighter skin, so on and so forth. Um, but you can, within a few generations, there's significant mutations. The family, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Let's just say, a past civilization, many people got stuck in caves, right? And if you think about it, like where caves primarily at, they're in like tall air regions where, let's say, if there's a global flood, that would be above the water level, so they would be safe in those caves. Mm -hmm. So. Global flood, they're stuck in the caves. No food, no nothing. Cannibalism. They have to turn to cannibalism. Not mm -hmm. only does that break somebody psych psychologically. Mm -hmm. It makes them crazy, like yeah. a psycho. 
and then it also has some effect on your physiology. Then, on top of that, you turn to them only being able to inbreed. So you have a sect of people in a lost time who are slowly and slowly getting dumber but more of a predator while being inbred and adapting to their environment, which is caves. And one of the main things about Wendigos is the only way to turn into a Wendigo is to, is to cannibalize, just on top of the theory. Yeah. And he's, I mean, talking, about, he's talking about actual, like, like, more about biological slash, like, change yeah. and change. Yeah. And, and, like, the baseline theory is just is just eating flesh like other human flesh right. but now you're actually going into the inbreeding factor yeah which, so could, which a, could be even more proven yeah a biological um mutation fuck. what's mutation. the word no like a biological uh, look at the Wendigo situation okay and I'm yeah making a case for biological like evolution for it and mm -hmm. it makes sense mm -hmm. because day after day we're getting more and more evidence of past civilizations all this shit there we we're finding shit at the bottom of the ocean. And we still haven't discovered. Right. Like, like 80%. 80% of the ocean. Well, I think it's higher than it's, that. Yeah, like 90 so. Yeah, we still haven't discovered half the Pacific. Like, more than half the Pacific. Yeah. This there, is the deepest. There are fucking things that we do not understand. And if you look at the 401... So, if you have you seen the 401 cluster I, map? Mr. Ballin? I've, I've yeah. watched Mr. Ballin. He goes through all of it. I've seen most of it. So, to explain to you... Um, you let's viewers, say we have yeah. a map... A top topographical map of the United States, right? And there are clusters with, um, which is cases of the 401 phenomenon, which is people go missing or disappear or have the weirdest fucking like unexplainable circumstances. Happen. Like like kids thinking they all, they went out to the woods, they heard a voice, they met up with this family, and then they said they woke up the next day and they met they met their actual family. They just said they they had a dinner or something like this, and this kid's like eight years old comes to find out it's been an entire week but the child is unscathed he isn't hungry there's nothing wrong with the kid yep. he literally there, there's theory there's literally evidence of people going into like some kind of warp dimension or like a different dimension or something yep. or like having a dinner with the afterlife or them protecting him or something if there's like a scary instance and there's also ones where they only find the shoes completely cleaned in an eight area, years in later an area where the kid could not yep, even get on to top of a mountain yeah and it's literally, the, and then everything was torn to shreds, the the, the, the t-shirts, the clothing, but guess what was fine? Six, six, I think it was six, between six years to like eight years in later. In an area they and, already searched, yeah. which is another quali or qualified yeah, that is common. Yeah, they already, they already searched it. Some, some hiker just saw a kid walked up, walked up there, nothing. Six years later, only thing there, torn, torn to shreds torn to shreds everything except the shoes the shoes were like brand new right. it makes no sense so getting back to that so the topographical map map of these cluster points yes that's a word of these clusters you see all these clusters right and it's in our national forest and all this shit which is like okay that's kind of what it's called the 401 um, phenomenon is classified as mm -hmm. within the national forest but then you look at a map of a, a topographical map of the largest cave systems in the U.S. and it matches fucking perfectly with all the clusters. It's like, what? And there's some cases where the government's been like, there was this kid, one of the. He means like he means like mountain ranges, like yeah. every kind of mountain or cave. It with literally large cave That's systems. where people go missing. Yes, and which begs the question, like, if it were just kids getting lost in caves, mm -hmm. which. Caves ninety percent of the time have nothing to do with most of the investigations. Exactly. Yeah. Like it doesn't. It, it's not even a, a thought process. But it doesn't include. But it's close to caves. Right. So it's like something came out of the caves, made something fucking weird happen. Because mm -hmm. it, it, looking at the topographical map, it links to the caves in some form or fashion. Yeah. Exactly. Um, causation is not correlation is not causation. But like, what the fuck? It doesn't make sense. And then when they're then when they're done with the child, like you're theorizing, let's say that this does happen. When they're done with the child or they're done killing them, like we're gonna go into the killing side, they they just put their stuff at some random location six six months later or six years later, and it's completely unscathed because it's been protected by the elements in this cave yep. where the child was taken. And there are cases where kids show up in places they could not get in the mm -hmm. amount of time, completely fine. 
and they say like, "Oh, it's some weird bear or some person." It's like, it, or, or a how? cougar, and they're like, "It's not a bear. It's not a freaking cougar. Yeah. A cougar's not gonna haul, haul a kid six miles." Yep. There was there was one kid disappeared, had all these people looking for him, like searched way further than the kid could even got, and then some random person found him, and he was in a spot where a the kid could not get to because he's a kid. B, like, it was such a big distance, he couldn't have got there in a lot of time. So, to the point where they had one of the best, like, hikers in the world try to cover that distance in the same amount of time, could not even get close. I know what you're talking Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And the kid was unscathed, just mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. How the fuck? M- matter, in a matter of 30 minutes. In a 30 minutes, I think it was like 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Yeah. It's like. Traveling like eight, nine miles, something yeah. like that. It's like. I don't think it was that vast, but it was like. Oh, I think it was like it was six to nine. I'm pretty sure something, but like. And it was off terrain. It wasn't on terrain. It was through, through it up and down mountains. Yep, rocky cliff sides, shit, underbrush. Yeah, it's like it's literally like a 33, 45 degrees degree angle. It's almost like this very strong, um, super mutant creature thing came out, yoinked these kids either to eat them or like to save them to procreate, which is another. Thing oh yeah, about. yeah. Um, travel a distance and then either take them or drop them. Yeah, take take them to like repopulate or take them to eat as food. Which a lot of times where they're left, a lot of times they're boys. Yeah. So if they oh don't my eat gosh, them, yeah. maybe they're like they take them to a, like far away from where they took them because they. I mean, predator relationship. Every animal has a fear of humans, mm-hmm. and it may eat humans. Which is, if you think of my theory, like. Mm-hmm. They would that would be their natural food source because they've been doing it for eons, or if not eons. But maybe they took them to a safe place, realized it was a boy, and just dropped it and left. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, because I know that the ones that were the girls, I think the one with the girl was the one that usually the girls disappear. And there was one where the girl did disappear, but then she came back the very next day. But then it was an entire week for our world. But according to her, the sun almost only rose once. And it was an area they already searched. I know what one you're talking about. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like, yeah, like through the, through the woods right next to the swamp. Yeah. And then like she was just there the week later. Completely and she was fine. unscathed, and she said that she had a nice dinner with a family, and the family was worried that she needed to get back to people, and she she led the people, so the searchers right back out to the exactly where the house was. And the only thing there was a broken shack. Yeah. It literally... But she led the people exactly where it was. And she's like, what, what happened to their house? Did it burn down? What happened? But it was literally in the elements for over 30 decades. This house hasn't been standing. It, it's, it's, it was like it was like co- totally collapsed into our modern time. So it's really... Yeah. Cr- because there's also paranormal stuff like dimension jumping or like the jumping in the afterlife. Because maybe your native family wanted to protect you. There's so much stuff that you could theorize into. But I think your theory is probably the the most like strong right now right like thinking about the predator instincts and like how, how to like repopulate trying to repopulate also like generations of you yeah. tri- like biological mutations mutation the culture and the degradation of their intellect into yeah. the predator as yeah. well as because in, in, in improvised improved strength with your intelligence decreasing because they're scared of humans but they know they need humans to repopulate right, which is why they hunt at night mm-hmm. which is why they only go after usually vulnerable people mm-hmm. which is why like they never take on a group and we we didn't have a gun and they and, no. and I, if we were out there solo dude yeah, I wish I had bad. an AR because my light is so fucking bright I would have clearly you would have beamed it yeah that that's one of the ones I use on my airsoft gun and it didn't reach it yeah but like I don't know what the fuck that was. I, that was I've, I've never seen I that before. Woods. I drive a boat to an island, right? Sleep on the fucking ground. I have a bug net and like a tarp, but I sleep on the fucking ground. I make a fire. I go to bed. I wake up. I do the same shit. I live on an island with nothing but knives and like a gallon of water and some pots and pans and shit and rope. You know, you know what I'd want it. Yeah. So yeah. adding on to that point, we also go to the Porcupine Mountains a lot yeah. too. We're outdoors people. We've yeah. lived in this our entire lives I grew up on a fucking farm like that was not a deer deer's eyes are not that big they're, they're not they're, they're not, not orange. orange I don't know what the fuck that was and deers don't deer, deers aren't like they, they would have you would have heard it run away and wouldn't make a sound like that I don't that sound it was not the auger 
Yeah, it wasn't. A. It, it came from the woods. Yeah. Their it, direction. A, it came from over there. B, the auger, when that fell, it probably just, it would have been like fucking into slush. Mm-hmm. And it probably did it slowly because I had it in there. I should have dug it a little deeper, but whatever. Like. Yeah, yeah, we are conspiracy nuts, but like, I've literally never seen anything like that before. I was a conspiracy nut talking about how the CIA killed MLK and Mark, and, uh, MLK and JFK. And guess what? The CIA just recently came out admitting they killed fucking JFK. So don't fucking call me conspiracy theorist because I'm smarter than most fucking people because I actually look into shit. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're not, a, if you don't have a inquisitive mind into the inner workings of our world and not only, like I'm huge into philosophy and perception and yeah. this shit, but like, which is one of the things why I love the things that normal people do not understand and like the things that can make sense. So I want to figure this shit out. I mm-hmm. want to understand it. Like, why would you? Why would you just sit around and just accept? Like, oh, it's just not real. You got to actually do some research, people. You can't just, you can't just believe every like everything you hear. And it's hard because and that goes two ways. Yeah. Like, you can't just believe the police officer because he could be trying to cover up something, and you can't believe like the crazy nut, crazy conspiracy nut. But like, literally, people said JFK was either assassinated by like been assassinated on purpose or he was just shot by some random guy from Cuba or whatever yeah, yeah. but then it turns out we killed him mm-hmm. because he was probably digging where he just shouldn't have and it, they it, it I know now, now it comes out now how much can you trust our own government if they're gonna lie to you can't. about like, like the fucking like, come on people were... not even to mention yeah it, blood, I'm probably gonna have to cut that up because YouTube's very sensitive on that topic fuck YouTube go suck a dick you Anti freedom of speech loving bitch. Actually, I got something for you. You have FBI officials telling you to moderate certain things. I know that they did it for Twitter. That also came out recently. Ultimate, also to mention, you can't you can't tell people that uh, COVID came from China. You can't say that at all. You just can't talk about you, COVID. You literally just can't. And that, that's why the conspiracy theorists feel seem so nuts, because. Normal people just you paint us in this light. Yeah, they just want to deal with their lives. They don't want to like think about it and deal with it. And then they cut out so much information, throw out so much disinformation that, like, if I brought this up to my mom, she would be like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not letting it affect my life, but I know what the fuck's going on." It's like, literally in history, every part of the human condition is the when you make a state, and I'm speaking general terms, like any state, a a culture, a community, whatever, it breeds corruption. And if you don't think that it would affect you, you're fucking wrong because it is ingrained in your physiology. It's ingrained in the human condition itself. It is a thing. And when we get to something as powerful as US government, especially with all the shit they've been doing and nobody gives a shit, it's like, these people go in, they're supposed to be making like, I don't remember the exact number, $30,000 a year, right? Mm-hmm. They come out with net worth of like several millions, mm-hmm. hundreds of millions. Mm-hmm. It's like, hmm, nobody and, cares. And just to give you guys a, co- a, a couple actual history, like, backing data on what he just said, look at the Roman Empire, look at Greeks, all fallen civilizations that people said they were amazing, they, they, were, they, had, they were prospering, they had technologies, they had what they had um irrigation systems before our time they had bathtubs for that w- that we wouldn't see centuries to come and then all of a sudden it just up gets uprooted and then goes to war corruption like, yeah corruption and there's another thing that kind of plays into that too because like, like the mythoanians as well yep um every even though civilizations and egypt yep um there is one but that was destroyed by our, our god by god you British, bitch Oh no, you're good. But like, I'm just I'm, just I'm just giving them examples. Yeah, I know. I'm just, um, you're fine. <laughs> this is how you speak. I know. I, I hope you're used to it. <laughs> no, I'm you're just fine. Um, every civilization, right? Whether we go from Christianity to even fucking Egypt beliefs, um, from Native American, all this stuff. One of the big things, is like. A common occurrence is the corruption, and then all of a sudden there is God smited them before that corruption. Mm-hmm. Think about their Israelites. Think about all this other shit. It's like, hmm. It's almost like there's a reoccurring theme of 
worldly calamity and that is reference as God smiting down a corrupt state that has gotten so big that it's lost who they are. And some states get so big, fall, and aren't due to the, the calamity. Mm-hmm. But it's like, even in the Bible, the flood? Yeah. Like, reset. The world's too bad. Reset. And that motif, just, that motif itself is in so many things. It's just correcting it. And then now, now since Jesus came, he's not able to correct it, which obviously it needs to be, but yeah. it hasn't gotten to a point. I thought it was going to get to a point, and it kind of corrected a little bit. Like, I thought America was doomed, like, two years ago. But these past two years have shown me that people aren't going to stand for this shit anymore with the whole um, take, taking messing with children's genitalia. I don't know why I had to get to this point for that, but I guess... I, I don't understand the modern society today. It yeah, does not it's make really sense to me. it's fresh. It does not make sense to me. There's no discourse. There's no oh yeah. If you no discourse, discourse at all, so you get shut down. Yeah, because in a democracy, in any disagreement, you know what alleviates things: the truth and the seeking of truth through communication, actual discord, actual communication of topics. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll just finish it up. It's on the table. Okay, we'll be on the other side. So basically, main takeaway. Read into conspiracies, learn everything you can even though you think it's freaking crazy because there are truth behind certain things. Second thing, civilizations don't last forever. Stop trusting in the governmental government and judicial systems. They're all bureaucrats and they're problematic and they all have hindrances. Pick out what you can correct and what you can make better. Focus on that, have a discord and correct it. And the last thing is seek discourse. Yes. Try try to talk and communicate to people even though you disagree with them. Because the best thing you could do is relieve, relieve that that discourse, and it makes you a better person. Because then it it shows it shows humanity in discussion. The truth will set you free, and whether you're just searching for the truth or openly speaking to find the truth, that actually helps. That's not I'm only I'm not only talking about that in a political sense. I'm also like yeah, not any, even political. Any relationship you have, anything you have a, something bothering you. There's some. It's going to fester in you. You need to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Be truthful. Because lying, not only to yourself, but to somebody else, it, it, like, it doesn't work. It's almost like the universe does not work on deceit. Like, your life will be better if you walk forward in a manner that is truthful, not only to you, but is beneficial and truthful to everybody else. 